too hard Eventually it starts to hurt Maybe I was holding on to what I thought you were But when you think too hard Eventually it starts to hurt Not the fact that she kissed him yesterday It's the feeling of betrayal That I just can't seem to share Because I didn't want you to know Because I didn't want you to know Why does it even matter? Because people can be mean Especially because they find out that you have some kind of weird Butterflies can't stop me falling for you And darling, this is more than anything I felt before You're everything that I want, but I did That you made in your own head but it was not your fault but mine And it was I don't know how to be okay And I really wish that I did Because I don't want to wake up feeling like this anymore Yo We're growing up And that means that we're not going to talk to or see each other as much as we're used to and that's just reality, but in case the day comes that we never speak to each other again, I just want you to know that I am glad I met you. Because we have made memories that will live in me forever. And it's because you're a real one. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, I'm in pieces, it's tearing me up, but I know. It's broke is a heart that's been loved Mental health. Nobody escapes it. Nobody remains unaffected by its waves. It's part of our lives every day. So why are we so quiet? Why do we always say that we're okay? Welcome to the In Your Feelings side of TikTok, where we aren't quiet about it. We embrace it. We recognize that it is the tears, the numbness, the pain. It is also the strength, the ability to laugh in the face of sadness and dance in all of our rain. It is the fact that you are here listening to my voice despite your worst days. So if you're tired of being quiet, stay here for a while. You have friends on this side. The way that you feel was never something you were meant to hide. Yo, you have literally seen me at rock bottom and you have never once judged me. You've always been there to encourage me and that is something that I will never understand because so many people would have left. So many people would have given up on me, but you stayed. You stay strong, and that is the most priceless thing in the world to find someone as loyal as you. So I just want to say thank you for being a part of my life. Lovely. <laughs> An introvert loses energy from social interaction, an extrovert gains energy from social interaction. So an introvert wakes up in the morning with five coins, every social interaction they spend a coin, at the end they are depleted. An extrovert wakes up with no coins, every social interaction they get a coin, and by the end they feel rich. Like going to a party, they gives them energy, Go versus going to a party sucks your energy. What I've learned is that it doesn't matter which one you are, the question is, is how do you leverage what you got? And so I go to parties with an extrovert. Right? Because that way they can do all the talking and I can just stand there and just eat the cheese.
They say recovery isn't a straight line, but I don't even know if it can be classified as something tangible. Sometimes it feels like a circle with no exit signs. I keep going around and around until it all looks the same. Or sometimes it's a square and I can't stop getting stuck in the corners. If I'm honest, maybe sometimes I'm hiding in them. Or sometimes it's a poorly drawn picture by a five-year-old with some broken crayons, lines going every which way, nothing making sense. And the second I think I figured it out, the purple turns to blue, the lines cross, some parts get erased, I get confused and tired and tell myself I'll figure it out tomorrow. Because sometimes there are just too many numbers, too many words, too many people with way too many things to say, so give me the damn crayon, I'll draw it myself. The worst part is that today's Friday. What? All right, who said that? Maybe it's possible that we put it on the wrong board. It's sad because it's not Saturday. What is school? What if school is a better place for them than home? How do we support somebody who would rather be in school than at their home? Keep your head up. Keep your If you don't want to talk about what you're going through, that's fine. All I need to know is, do you need a hug?